Hey, what's up everyone? Mike here with the watch list video for, can you believe it? Friday, October 6th. Um, it's by kind of a quiet day, closed about where it opened. Here's the intraday for those of you that weren't there. So we sold off and then went right back up to the high of day in the afternoon, sideways during lunch. Um, you know, again, typical kind of boring session. Um, were some there were some decent calls in chat today. Um, N-U-V-L when we went to, hey, what are we watching after lunch? I think it was Matt D put it on, uh, basically gave the 60 idea. So you see the big boom yesterday, and this is for those that weren't there. I'm gonna try to zoom in now just to sh share this with you. All right, so you can see the early high, let me give you the number, 6082. So we're looking for a whole number inflection point, hoping to get through the high of day, right? And then hang on, and yesterday's high was 6170. So hoping, you know, there's your next catalyst. So if I go to 15 minute candles, you'll be able to see the 60 break right about here. And then you had the earlier high and yesterday's high stacked above. So that was the setup. Um, and there's the 60 break, I think, yeah, do, 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 wait for it, right there. And the worst case stop was like 30 something cents below, right below that previous candle. And uh, had a pretty nice move. Uh, so it went up to uh, 62, 30 something, I think. Um, but just a neat little trade, right? That made sense. Um, followed all the setups, uh, or, or I'm sorry, all the attributes that we look for. You know, you had the whole number inflection point with stat catalysts above. And um, nice to have somebody in chat that spotted it. Uh, TNGX, I gave an idea. There's the daily. Um, had this huge move in the afternoon. So I call it a twos buy zone. Let me switch to twos so you can see it. Twos buy zone. And I think most of you agree we liked it below whoops, below the whole number, right? The horizontal line there is at the whole number 12, two's buy zone between the red and the blue line. Um, it went down right off the 220 and bounced up, I don't know, 50, 50 cents, 60 cents maybe. Um, but again, a neat little trade that followed what we teach. Um, TN, uh, ICU, I think actually gave a trade. I, I mentioned the two day high break, which was over 62 cents, which happened, I think 63 was the, the trigger. And it did go up to uh, 70. Again, I'm not a penny stock trader. Um, that's not a bad percentage gain though. And this one, by the way, is on watch. But let me go right into what we're watching for um, tomorrow. ALXO, after the gap up, they had an offering overnight last night and it still gapped up. You got three red candles in a row, but I am gonna keep this on bounce watch. You guys know what I look for on bounce plays. SLNO, just another day down after that big rip. Um, kind of to the middle of its range after the gap. So that one stays on bounce watch, NEP. Goes right back on bounce watch. Um, GM, General Motors, let me pan out a little bit, kind of give you a better view of this one. So this thing's already down four or five, five days in a row, and I'm not sure, let me go to weekly. This might be, um, no, okay. I, I was thinking it might be at all time lows. Um, anyway, it's five days in a row down, big volume today. Certainly worth a snapback bounce watch tomorrow. You guys know what I look for, so we'll see, right? Um, XOM, Exxon Mobil, uh, straight down for like five days. So I'm going to put that on bounce watch. KO, some, some unusual names for, for me, for the watch list, right? Exxon Mobil, General Motors, um, this is Coke. And Coke is starting to get fast to the downside. We'll glance at the weekly on this one. And I mean, it, it bounced here, here. These are weekly candles. So it's gotten to this one kind of accelerating into it. I still think that's a decent setup for a possible snapback bounce tomorrow. Um, ICU, I mentioned this one. Let me zoom in a little bit. I do want to have this one on watch. Um, some numbers I can give you. Today's high was uh, basically 71 cents. And then the high of the big pop the other day um, was 80 cents. So over 71, we might get a run to and through 80 and maybe see a buck. So I still think it's worth having on a chart. Um, MDAI. Had the big pop yesterday, quiet inside day today, looking for a third day play. Some people corrected me on social media. I put out a chart about it yesterday and said I wish it had had news. It did have news, but I mean, it was like a few days ago though. Um, so that's the weird thing. I think the news was a few days ago. And then after a few days, it gets going. That's, that's weird to me, um, but they did. It, did, it was a nice sounding headline. So I, I appreciate people um, kind of throwing that headline at me on social media. Makes me like it a little bit more, right? And I like the quiet inside day. MSS has only been trading for one day, but let me go to five minute candles. Um, it just went absolutely nuts. 
and I'll go back to the daily. So we've only got one day to go on, but it had such a huge move, I am going to put it on watch tomorrow. It was one of those serial halters, though, which made it virtually untradeable. This is unusual for me to have this on watch. Had it on watch coming into today. It opened here and absolutely ripped, right? Now, if, when this was hitting $8.50, if I'd have told you it's going to close the day down below $2.50, you'd have said, yeah, no, it's not. But it did. Um, so you, everyone in this is underwater. So that's why it's unusual for me to have this on watch. But such a range yesterday, um, you know, from like $8.50 down to $2.50 or whatever, then I am going to put it on bounce watch. It, again, that's unusual for me because, again, everybody's underwater. But I'm going to put it on watch. I'm a day trader, and we'll see if it gives a setup. And then Pixie stays on watch. It's just gotten quiet for three days. But I like this pop back here. If it can break above this three-day range, then we might just bust through this high and, and rip, right? So uh, it's a lower float stock. So I, I want to watch that one. And that's it. We'll add gappers in the pre-market as well. I'll see everybody in the chat room in the morning. Have a great night.